Hi guys, this is Pascal from Submedics US. So today we are going to talk about Rebreather and particularly Submedics uh, Mini Quantum 1. So today we talk about how to fill the scrubber. So to get an access to your scrubber you have to open the unit. So take the cover all out. It's easy like that and move the cover and okay you can put it down to be sure. Okay next step, uh, open the strap. And at the top of the uh, scrubber, you got two quick release hook. Okay, open it and move the scrubber down slowly. That's it. This is really easy. So now is the time to have a small inspection of uh, your O-ring seals. So the O-ring have to be in a good condition and have to be in a good position too. This is really important. You can change it if you want. This is very easy. And now it's the time to uh, clean uh, the seals range for later when you want to put it on the scrubber. That's it. So the next step, you just have to open the scrubber before to fit it for sure. So open the cover. This is really easy. And take the items out. Okay, so now you're ready to fit it. So now it's time to fill the scrubber. What is really important uh, when you want to fill it is uh, to fill in several three or four times minimum. You don't have to fill it in one time because um, creating tunnels. So you just have to check uh, to tamp and avoid creating tunnels. This is really, really important to know. Okay, the last step uh, just before to close the scrubber is uh, make sure to fill up the scrubber on the red line, uh, exactly on the red line, not before, not below and not above, please. This is really important. So you can use an additional filter too. This is the way uh, your own choice to use it or not. And this part is the final part before closing, which maintains a pressure on the sole. And just before to close the scrubber with the cover, you just have to inspect the O-ring you got on the cover. So now you can close the scrubber. So uh, turn the center knob uh, to screw the cover and you just have to turn a little bit uh, all of the cover just to ensure a proper positioning of the roaring and now the final turn of the knob, the central knob to close and that's it, it's really easy. <laughs> 